The concept of international competitiveness, you need to know the definition, and that's the first point here. So international competitiveness refers to the ability of an economy to maintain and increase its real income per person while operating under free and fair international market conditions. Okay, so it's about being able to compete in a, uh, in a free, open, global market. There's a few different ways in which you can measure it, and I've got a couple here, but there are others. These are some that um, I would recommend that you remember. One is investment by firms. High levels of investment leads to high levels of competitiveness. Two is maintaining stable price levels. And here you want to talk about the Reserve Bank and its inflation targeting. So targeting between 2 and 3%. And also increasing efficiency levels. And you can talk about technical, allocative, and dynamic efficiency. Also, uh, things like a greater take up of technology. There's other things I haven't included there, like um, entrepreneurial management styles, um, certain government reforms, high levels of education, infrastructure, investment. Um, by the government, for example. This question is exchange rate part of maintaining selling prices? <coughs> um, is, yes, so maintaining a stable exchange rate uh, and generally preventing it from falling too much would be. That's right. However, a lower exchange rate does increase international competitiveness because it allows it, uh, exports to go up in, in price while imports uh, also go up in price. So uh, exporters are going to do better because they have more money from their exports. Um, and domestic import competing firms are going to do better because import, imported goods are now more expensive so they can compete more. So a lower exchange rate is actually better for international competitiveness other than this maintaining stable price levels.